What's up, Taurus? This is going to be your reading. I hope that you guys are doing well. All right, we are back home. We're back home. So funny because everybody's like, I'm outside, I'm outside. And I'm just happy that I'm not outside. I'm at home. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Messages for Taurus, please. Messages for my Taurus. What messages does Taurus need to know? Guys, don't forget to like this video. Messages for Taurus. Ooh, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I just heard she back at it. Why wouldn't she be? What song is that? The little Kim or something? Um, just the jump off. Yeah, <laughs> the jump off. I've been gone for a minute now. I'm back with the jump off. That is so funny. Spirit is so funny, yo. Yo, what? Mm -mm. Who was listening to a little Kim? No. The Eight of Pentacles. All right. So, yeah, literally, she's back at it. Back in it. Back doing whatever you're doing. We have the Five of Wands. Ooh, the competition, though. I feel like you're not paying the competition, no mind. So whatever you're doing, Taurus, you're doing it well, okay? You look cute. Let's see what else. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles back at work, working hard at something. Ooh. We had the Four of Swords and the Two of Wands. So you were resting, okay, or you, you were working here. But it looks like you're taking a decision to kind of take it easy or take a break or you're choosing a different path. You're getting a dream and you're just you're you're seeing something in your dream as well. I'm seeing spirit give you messages in your dream, like a different path. You're like, look, you could do this. Yeah, the eight of cups. I'm seeing you like walk away from something that you were doing here. So you could be um Pay attention to your dreams. Yeah, we had the five of cups. I'm seeing that you're you're sad about work or you're sad about something that you're doing at work or something that you've been doing for a long time. You're like, okay, I'm kind of bored now. Or maybe I'm seeing something about Sagittarius or something about traveling. Maybe you're stuck at work and you really want to go somewhere. You really want to travel or something. Yeah, we have the four of wands. You may have a long distance lover. Or like a relationship, somebody you can go see at a distance or um, just friends or something. I'm seeing you like dream about a partnership. Now, a partnership doesn't have to mean, you know, a love relationship. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So I'm getting like a text message from a, a somebody... Like a soulmate or something. <clears throat> What's this here? Oh, we have the Eight of Swords reverse. So I'm getting that somebody is like um, speaking up or they're no longer stuck. I'm seeing somebody like free themselves and talk to you or something like that. Oh, we have the Empress. Yeah. There you are. The Empress, baby. Taurus. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting like antsy. Like, I feel like you're getting antsy or you're feeling like you want to do something. Like you want to travel or you want to... <laughs> I don't know. You want to free yourself? You want to do something different? Ooh, the Emperor, the Two of Cups? Okay, so you want to be in love, love. <laughs> what is going on? So here's this partnership. Yeah, I, I see somebody here who's like, oh my gosh, the lovers just flips over. Yes. This is like a love reading. Eight of 
it could be a Gemini, an Aries, or a Scorpio. We have the Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to send you a message that they love you or something. What else about the Empress? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, so you're single, ready to mingle. <laughs> Lord, what is happening, Taurus? Okay, go on now. The Four of Swords and the Two of Wands. So you're sitting here resting, taking a break mentally, um, and you're making a decision about something. The Three of Cups. Yeah, about getting back together with someone, about reconciling, about... Um, going to see somebody partying or um just getting back together with an individual here so the bull takes a break yeah we have the hermit here so you know you've been working you've been studying you've been practicing something all right you've been really trying to find the answers yeah the five of pentacles but you're tired of being on your own or something like that <clears throat> all right so let's put this back let's see here and get i'm gonna make this a quick short video hold on one second okay <laughs> All right, so let me see, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Let's get one of these um, Anubis cards. What energy is Taurus in right now? What do they need to know? Because it's feeling a little tricky. The energies are feeling tricky, so I don't know. It's like you think that a lot is happening or that you're missing out, but are you though? We have the tree of life and the and Pata, the new eon. Imagination, visionary prophet. Yeah, it's like you're imagining. It, okay, let me tell you what I see. <laughs> oh, Lord. How do I say that? How do I say that? We have the tree of life as well. Bass, Anubis, and Osiris. But this card always looks like a phallus to me okay it's like the masculine energy this is imagination so are you imagining the d or like what i mean what what, what? is it really there does it exist because you know this is looking real imaginary and we have imagination here a new world i heard a whole new world yeah we have fierce compassion and healer <sighs> transformation i mean oh man i'm hearing it's coming okay it is coming something is coming don't force the technique hmm. okay taurus we do have mars in taurus right now i'll talk about that in another um reading when my daughter is not begging me for a snack so don't forget to like this video. This is just a general. If you want a personal, you guys can email me. All right. Ah. We have Moon in Leo appreciation. So yeah, Moon in Leo. That's what, you know, the moon is your emotions. Leo is like, look at me. Here I am. You know, I'm getting like you could be. And Leo for me is very masculine sign. You know, it's the king of the jungle. I feel like, you know, your your emotions are being very appreciative of somebody very masculine. But this lady is looking at this little teeny bird. So be careful who you talk to because I feel like, this. you know, it could be if you're dealing with a Leo, this person could um tell your business or something like that with that bird. And we have companionship. Yeah, moon in Libra. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of, yeah, we have secrets, Venus in Scorpio. 
So keep your secrets to yourself or something. Because I'm getting something about uh, somebody is telling the world whatever you're telling them. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one, which should be soon. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.